Always a great feeling to make state in your sport. And the Crestwood Girls Cross Country Team and John Burland have that feeling as they made state. The girls finishing a tie for third and got the announcement. Folks, there was a tie uh, between uh, on points. Uh, each team had 110 points. And the tie was between Waverly Shell Rock and Crestwood. Uh, as the meet officials looked at the tiebreaker, the tiebreaker came down to the uh, best finish in the sixth runner. Based on that, the third place team that qualifies for state is Crestwood of Cresco. <laughs> We can have the Cresco Cadet team come on up, please. You get a, you get team medals. There they are on the medal stand, and Coach Jim Operman talks about it. Well, Coach, uh, kind of a nail biter. Yeah, way to go. Appreciate it. You, you don't always think a cross country is having a, a nail biter, but this one did. As uh, you were tied, actually, and uh, had to come back down to the sixth place runner. Right, and we've been, you know, we preach all the time that you got to keep fighting no matter where you're at, and that's that held true at conference for us when our sixth runner had to be our fifth runner, and tonight when our sixth runner really counted as far as going to state or not. So it's a great lesson for us, and I think our kids understand that. And, uh, they certainly deserve it. Uh, no question about that. Uh, and, and it speaks a lot for, for balance on your team. You didn't right. have anybody in the top right. ten, yet you're still a number three and it came down to your sixth runner. So, yeah, so that's that's something else. Yeah, well, we knew that going in. We, we talked and we didn't have, to have anybody in the top ten to get the team there. And it really was about team today for the girls. So I'm very proud of them. They should be proud of themselves. And on the boys' side, you do have one going on uh, to state number nine finish here. Right, John Berlin, and he ran a great race today, and he knew he had to. There are a lot of ranked kids in this uh, in this race today, so um, he finished uh, really where we hoped he would. We we knew that it was going to be close and tight, but he ran a great race too. So very proud of him, and uh, we've had a great year, both boys and girls. So it's nice to get a little icing on the cake at the end right. of the season. And and we should speak to the strength here because there are a lot of good uh, schools here. Yeah, typically this is the toughest 3A district in the in the state, and, and we knew it was going to be that way. Uh, there were four ranked boys teams ahead of us here tonight, and, and so we knew that going in. And, and girls, we had just slipped in the rankings. We believed we had a shot. Uh, Waverly's tough, Charles City's tough, our conference is tough. And so when we run against those people, you know, all, all throughout the season, it helps us when we get to this. Well, thanks a lot, Coach, and congratulations, and uh, do well down there in uh, Fort Dodge. Okay, thanks, Randy.